Welcome to the Billion Grays Help Video Series. This video is to help you find a cemetery nearby where you can take photos with the mobile applications. We will look for cemeteries that already have some pictures but may have headstones still available to be documented. First, start by logging in to your Billion Graves account from our homepage. You will be taken to your dashboard, which will show you an overview of your current contributions as well as other helpful links. In the top menu, hover your mouse over Research, which will open up several features. Click on Cemetery Map in the left column. This will take you to an interactive map of all the cemeteries on Billion Graves, more importantly, the cemeteries that are located near your current location. You will see lots of different colored pins, each one representing a different cemetery. Each color indicates how many photos have been taken in each cemetery. There is a legend at the bottom of the screen that will tell you more about each pin. Use the tools on the map to zoom in closer on your current location. In this example, there are several cemeteries nearby, all with different colors. Using the toolbar at the bottom, you will want to find cemeteries that are not blue. In this example, we will look at the closest cemetery to my location in Collingswood, New Jersey, the purple pin called Calvary Cemetery. This cemetery has over 7,000 images, so a lot of work has already taken place. Although this has a lot of images, let's check to see if the cemetery still has work that needs to be done. Click on the purple pin and then the name of the cemetery to take you to the cemetery page. On the left side of the screen, click on the tab for Cemetery Map or scroll down until you get to the Cemetery Map section. You will start to see thousands of pins start to populate on the screen. Each pin represents a picture of a headstone. As we move around the cemetery, look how we can see sections that are densely populated and areas that have no pins. The empty areas are sections where you can take photos to help complete the cemetery. Again, use the tool on the map to zoom in and make sure that there are actual headstones in that area to take pictures. In some of the large cemeteries, there may be so many pins that they begin to cluster. You can click on the Show Clusters icon on the top of the map, or you can click on each cluster to show each individual pin. In this case, there's a lot left to do before the cemetery is done. Take note of which areas are empty, so when you arrive at the cemetery, you know where you can start. Use the, use the mobile app when you are actually in the cemetery to assist you in knowing where to start. You can pull the cemetery map up in the application, just like on the website, which will show you all of the pins, allowing you to be able to walk right to the empty sections and start taking pictures. Note that this section has been partially completed. We encourage users to try not to take duplicate photos. However, in cases like this, it can be difficult to tell where the previous user stopped taking photos. In these cases, err on the side of taking more pictures than less to make sure that all the graves are photographed. Our systems and transcribers can help manage any duplicate images. We don't recommend taking pictures of this entire section, perhaps just a row or two to ensure proper coverage. Another tip that you can use in the cemetery is to go to the first headstone in a row and search the name of that gravestone on the application. If it is in the app, that row has most likely been completed. Continue this until you reach a row with a grave that is not in the search results. Remember, once you have taken photos, Immediately upload them when you get home and are connected to a Wi-Fi connection. This will save you from using any data and ensure that other volunteers see the work you have done so they don't duplicate the photos you just took. Using these simple tools, you will be able to identify cemeteries near you that still need to be photographed. Thank you for taking photos for Billion Graves and helping preserve these vital records for generations to come. For any questions, join us in the Billion Graves community where volunteers, like yourself, can come, ask questions, and engage with other volunteers around the world.